New products and services in the marketplace opens up new vertical segments for the industry, but are we ready for the tidal wave of content that our consumer culture demands? This edition of The List starts right now. And network transformation, the small cell revolution, and data caps on consumers. These are all realities that we face as an industry through 2013 and beyond. So today we'll give you the top seven ICT hot topics to keep your eye on in the next couple of years. Here to shed some light on our rundown is TIA's own Senior Vice President, John Jacobs. And John, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Abe. Thanks very much. It's been quite a while. We had our TIA 2012 event uh, not too long ago, and uh, we've wrapped that up and we're moving on. That's right. Talking about trends and what to look out for in 2012 and 2013. Uh, we have a rundown for our viewers, and let's start with number seven on that rundown. That is coverage to capacity, John. Uh, coverage uh, for mobile users was the uh, impetus and the focus over the last 15 years as mobile users are moving through transportation corridors. Mm. Now the emphasis is on capacity with the advent of the iPhone and other devices out there, including the apps craze. Uh, the deluge of content and down downloading that content is that emphasis. Um, how is this changing the our industry as our carriers and operators that are our members have to share not only cell towers, but maybe mobile backhaul structures as mm -hmm. well, antennas and so forth. How, uh, what can we expect to see going forward? Well, that's right. You're clearly, uh, as you say, 15 years ago, we had uh, these sort of quite proprietary and distinct networks. And what we're seeing is a convergence uh, of, of the networks that is wireless and wireline, but also amongst themselves and, and smarter business models for to bring uh, high uh, demand data products like apps and smart devices uh, to the marketplace. So you're seeing the advent of things like uh, heterogeneous networks, right? Micro and macro network uh, technology that allows a, a meshing of multiple carrier infrastructure so that the, you know, they're meeting the common need of their, of their carriers. And from an economy of scales perspective, it is uh, more efficient. You're seeing uh, active antenna technology as well, which greatly increases the amount of traffic that can be carried on, it in, on an antenna. Uh, so uh, you know, we talk about distributed uh, DAS for a distributed uh, antenna. And you know, so there's, there's a lot more happening at the antenna level. And you mentioned mobile backhaul. And clearly, you know, uh, mobile backhaul itself is a, uh, a necessary technology that is enabling the wireless network in the near term, right? In the longer term, the need for spectrum is is uh, screaming at us. Uh, but in the, in the near term, our ability to pull that data back to the core network so we can offload data from the wireless component is, is vital. 